All right, y'all, this tutorial is going to be quick because I'm mad tired. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I get my um, my fake TV uh, network videos to sound like actual um, recordings. I'm finally making a video on how. So um, so first, first things first, you need the version, you need Premiere Pro 2020, the version that has this purple icon. If it got... If it has the icon that looks like this, then it's not gonna work because a lot of obsolete effects are used. So, yeah. All right. So let me let me let me just get right into it. So, first off, this first track right here, this is um the stereo track, the stereo um audio being up mixed to five point one. This this is just a plugin I downloaded. So ig ignore that. If if you don't got it, then that's that's why. My 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 goal will be to use the um the second track for stereo, because that that's just the same thing without um the up mix. And the the third track is the five point one um track. This is where like, it's just it's the normal track. Nothing's really done to it except for like, um, multi band compression, uh, deesser. Uh, dynamics processing equalizer shit like that. Um, oh, excuse my language. Why am I saying that? Anyways, um, yeah, surround. Now surround up mix fade. This is this is optional, but I like but I like to do it because I hear a lot of um, Disney stuff uh, do it. So like, it's it's just a matter. It's just like. Like transitioning from stereo to five point one, like like at the beginning of the program, it fades from the stereo onto the five point one. That's that's what it means. Uh, this three point one up mix. You to be honest, you can ignore the the tracks from A five to to sub mix three because those those don't really matter. You're you're really focusing on the first um the first four tracks. And then at the end, just a bunch of multi band compressors and shit. Um, so yeah, matter of fact, let me go through all all of the um effects real quick. So mm, I'm, I'm 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 gonna start here. So the amplify, I got this set for a reason because sometimes. Effects are effects are powerful on the on the uh, center track, so this is this is really important. Um, the deesser, I didn't really do nothing to this, but I mean, yeah, ain't, ain't nothing really done to this. This is just how it's <clears throat> supposed to be. And multi band compressor, make sure you uh, take screenshots or pause if you need to on any of these because. Because I'm kind of moving fast, so like, if you need to like uh, replicate any of these, just like pause the video. So yeah, this is that's that. Dynamics processing. Um, I'm pretty sure I used a broadcast preset and I customized it, but but um yeah, just copy all copy all this down. Feel me? Yeah. Um. So this right here is an obsolete effect, as it says obsolete. Um, like I said, make sure to copy this down because it's it's really needed. They're pretty much the same for all of them. Just I guess just like for the for the up mixing uh, tracks, just remove the amplify and like and like scale it down to like what it what it was originally on. What was this on? Eighteen. So I guess like scale it down to eighteen. That's that's what I did for the surround up mix thing. And now, and now when we go to here, the amplify, the, so the center track is turned down, um, negative four, it, it's turned down to like, to negative, no, what am I trying to say? It's turned down, you know what I'm trying to say, but, um, cause, cause on the other track it's turned up and this one's turned down, so that's really important. And then. Again, copy this down. Another obsolete effect. I think. Wait, hold up. Yeah, they're mostly obsolete. All right, now this this one, this 
this one adds the power to it. Like these these last master tracks, um, I mean uh, master effects add the um the power to it. So like this one, I use the drum preset and I customize it. And um, this one, this one just uh, boosts it up, like I said. So yeah, that's that was it for the effects. Now, um, if I go through the sequences, the main this is the main sequence. This is this is where everything is supposed to be happening, right? If if you wanna if you wanna turn off all the effects except for like the um the up mixing shit or the amplify or whatever. Um, I would say use this, especially if you want to do stuff with sap. I'll get to that later. But, um, if you want to like, like remove all the sound effects, I mean, no, if you want to remove all the compression and stuff, I would say, uh, copy and paste all of your, um, your data to this or what you edited to this. And for the, for the sap, um, it's pretty, it's pretty much the same thing, but, um, instead of, dragging dragging and dropping the original um broadcast sequence drag and drop the broadcast bypass sequence because if if you do the original one it's not gonna sound good okay so now we're gonna get to the point so let's see all right so let's see okay i'm just gonna grab any like random let me, let me do the iCarly mix i made hold on yeah i got a lot of stuff in here my, my bad job <laughs> Um, all right don't 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 mind the names they just and my computer is pretty slow so like you'll experience that and you might ex you might experience or uh, or you might hear some lags coming from my end but uh but yeah so all right so if I if I play it right now it's not gonna sound good because it's loud as fuck so so what you got to do is right click on a on the um the uh the video go to audio gain then click on normalize all peaks and then do negative 24 negative 30 for commercials but uh negative 24 for shows all right now let's now let's hear the difference yeah sorry about the lag now if I go to hold on if I go to like an original the original hold on let me match this real quick so to like screw it you want to tell us about your safe don't you yes all right and now you want to tell us about your safe don't you yes so I'm at the junkyard you could t you could tell the difference you could tell the difference and and the um the surround uh, fade I was talking about earlier, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So, so first you wanna you wanna split this. I'll link the video track. Okay, and then and then drag the um, drag this down to the fourth track. That's that's what creates it. Drag this out. Sorry if I'm moving fast, but like, I guess you need to pause. Um, but yeah, drag this out, and then on the first track, you you set up you set a um a keyframe right here. Go to the beginning, and then drag drag this all the way down till you can't drag it no more. So yeah, like that. I'm so bad at tutorials, I swear. Okay, and now for for the um for this track. Do the same thing but the opposite way. So like the the this first and then then turn this down. Now you won't you won't hear a difference if I don't like if I don't turn these on, but but hold on. Yeah, there's the there's the difference right there. And listen to the effect it creates too. It's really laggy, but um, 
But yeah, that that should uh, get straight into the point with this with this whole video. I know many people have asked me on how to do this, and I'm finally I'm finally giving them how how to do it. So like, so yeah, that's that's that. I'm mad tired. I'm going to sleep now. Goodbye.